How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another mystery beer, courtesy of Mitt. No, Tim. Uh, yeah, Tim sent me off a bunch of mystery beers, made sure I did not mess up his name, so we're going to talk about it. What are mystery beers? They're beers that uh, I have no idea what they are. People send them to me. I chug them, I drink them. There we go. So let's see what this sucker has to offer. No idea what we're about to drink, but she looks a bit like a hazy from a distance. A little, uh, little 12 ounce hazy. She's definitely a hazy beer. Is she a hazy IPA? We don't know yet. That's part of the mystery of beer's charm. Um, index, almost an index finger of infinite creaminess. Super tight compact bubbles. A little bit of soapiness to the top edges of it. Um, I would say just about off-white. And she looks the part of a kind of like pale, low ABV kind of a IPA hazy. Doesn't look too big, too huge, too dense, too thick. But she looks pretty damn pretty. Yeah, double positives. Love me some double negatives. Love me some double positives. So, let's see if we can get a nose. Okay. Hmm. That's grapefruit juice. It smells just like grapefruit juice. There's an odd, like, soft, slightly soft, like, plastic burnt plastic component to it oddly enough it's not actually turning me off it's more like kind of like a super pithy rindy uh grapefruit can sometimes give that to me so i'm not necessarily calling it out this smells like somebody's like it could be a berliner but that big huge grapefruit grapefruit note is just overpowering everything from what i actually smell it could be that extra hopped extra fruited or it could be somebody's pale or ipa much the same vein uh, aggressive dry hopping with actually it feels like there might even be just a citrus or more specifically a grapefruit addition. That's how vibrant, how big that grapefruit component comes off. But yeah, it's kind of hard to get past it. It's really just grapefruit on grapefruit. There's a soft sweetness to it, nothing over the top. Definitely getting a bittering kind of rindy component, not necessarily green or bittering hop kind of component from it. But there's definitely a bitterness there. It smells pretty tasty in a very breakfasty kind of way. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Okay. That's got to be somebody's Berliner. I'm still getting that soft plastic and plastic like component to it. But it's starting to veer towards instead of like a burnt plastic, kind of like a slightly acetony, slightly latex pink kind of thing. But again, leading in, the, leading in the clubhouse, leader in the clubhouse, this is a big, huge grapefruit component. I'm almost getting like lychee vibes. That's where I think maybe some of that super tart, kind of fruity, kind of burnt plastic thing is coming from. But yeah, it's somebody's Berliner Weiss or Kettle Sour. Let's put it that way. Has a bit more robustness to it. So I'd say almost like a sour pale ale. Uh, sour Paleo Berliner, kind of like a Berliner that is extra hot. The fruit edition can almost be a sour pale. Um, but yeah, there has to be a fruit edition in this. There has to be an addition of, of a decent amount of kind of secondary um, kind of cold side hopping. This reminds me of a beer I had from Brickstone Brewing. Out of Georgia? I think these come from Georgia. Not necessarily its vibrance and its fruit forwardness, but they made this beer that was a slightly tart kind of pale. I think that's the brewery. I could be wrong. I reviewed it quite a while ago. Um, it has that same kind of tartness. So it's almost like um, an Arnold Palmer, if you will, if you mixed a fruited, citrus-fruited grapefruit with lychee-fruited Berliner and blended it with somebody's aggressive hot pale ale. That's kind of what I'm getting here. So what, where do I want to go with this? Do I want to go Berliner? Do I want to go some kind of tart, sour kind of IPA pale ale? I'm going to go Berliner. Like I said, grapefruit edition. I like you. It just come into my brain. And then uh, aggressive hops, uh, ABV, 4.7. And uh, that's it. Done and done. It's tasty. Let's put it this way. I really enjoy this beer. This beer is fucking delicious. I would drink this any day of the week. Do, 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 do. So... Get the old T off here, and then we'll see what's what. Dun, 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 dun. Creatures Comforts. This is their Berliner Weiss German style tart wheat ale with fruit. Now, what kind of fruit is in here? Passion fruit guava. No, 
I like grapefruit and uh, lychee, but I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I'm not going to nail the fruit, but I definitely had that down. And it's ABV 4.5, so I'm just 0.2 off the um, off the um, ABV there. So German style tart wheat ale. I didn't really talk much about the malt, malt bill. I don't know if I'd go heavily on the wheat. Um, but it's, you know, kind of makes sense, um, looking at it and how it tastes just from, you know, actually reading the can and the with fruit again, passion fruit and guava. I went, you know, grapefruit out of the wazoo and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm totally okay with what I said with this by far and away, a super tasty, delicious beer that I think I did pretty all right with. I'm okay with everything that came out of my fache there. So let's talk about it let's cut to the chase because i already said i really enjoy it is it one of the better um uh berliners um non-base berliners i guess you go that i've had as like actually yet yeah, this is super drinkable super tasty drinks like it's from down south drinks like summer We're, i'm in a t-shirt it's gonna be 65 this weekend so i'm itching for a little bit of summer vibes and this is giving me those vibes wholeheartedly value and availability uh, it's creature comforts. We actually see their stuff up and around this area. I don't know if uh, Jersey sees it, but Pennsylvania does. So it can be had. I don't necessarily know this one can, but their beers can be had and leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like summer, if you like grapefruit, if you like fruited, fruited balloons, and you like balance. I really didn't talk about that. There is that aggressive hopping. There is a, a whole heaping bit of fruitiness and there is a nice pop of tartness, but nothing gets out of control. Everything has a kind of nice you know, ebb and flow to it, to where it just goes down really, really well. And with that lower ABV at 4.5, that's a crusher. So there you go. Another review in the books. Mystery beer, mind you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy the mystery beers, you can send them to me. It's the only way I can do them. Um, Massivebeers at gmail.com. You can reach me there. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, Beer Massive, if you want to check me out doing a whole um, uh, podcasting thing, uh, Massive Beers with the whole social media thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying nice little creature comforts right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.